Hey, Mrs. Elm here, and I am filming from my bathroom, of course. And I just did a video on my Angelic Warrior 37 channel. Go check it out. It's a quick video on how I did um, two hairstyles, two separate videos using Dollar Store products like this. Got this from Dollar Tree. And these headbands, these are sorts of headbands. I also got from Dollar Tree as well as my ponytail holder. So, but the style I did originally is completely different than this style. Well, it's a little different. So, you go check those videos out. And what I want to talk about is... Okay, I've been a YouTuber for several years. I just started making videos in 2000. And 10. I had another channel before this one. But anyway, when you've been a YouTuber for a while and you're doing videos and things like that, you start to acquire. There will be certain trolls that will follow you around and certain people that will follow you. Some show their faces, some don't. You may have one person that may have maybe four or five different accounts I don't know now you got some trolls that's just spectators and stuff like that they're not really not much of a threat but then you got other trolls that what I call in between instigator motherfuckers let me explain a in between instigator motherfucker would see two uh, vloggers beefing with each other and they basically go back and forth trying to fuel the fight between them two because they don't want to see no peace amongst the vloggers they may go to one vlogger channel and be like yes yeah, so also talking shit about you in this video here's the link and this and that and then that same person may come on another troll account or maybe the same account and Pretty much say the same thing, just pitting the vloggers against each other. Um, yeah, I call them in between instigator motherfuckers. A lot of times, people neglect these in betweeners. Um, you have some in betweeners that actually show their faces and do videos. Mm hmm. Yeah, so. You gotta watch out. It's it's different types of people on here. Like me, I always say I don't take YouTube seriously. It's only entertainment for me. So able to make a couple of change here and there. Yeah, cause everybody know that get AdSense know that they don't really pay much on AdSense. You have to do other avenues um to obtain some sort of income from AdSense or just do other other things like you can sell t-shirts, uh, open a uh, web store or whatever like that. Which I have if you click the links. The link is down in the description box. But I do have like a web store where you can see my designs on t-shirts, hats, mugs, or whatever. If you don't like it, you know, it's fine. You can read by but and you can check out other people's um, items on here as well. So... I'm working on a new project um, a design actually that may be coming out pretty soon so just wait for that but on to these in between the instigating motherfuckers you know um, you may have people that may you know come to your channel Commenting on a video which they probably not really that interested in and may be like, oh, um, hi, I found you through a, 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 a bully, um, you know, I looked up YouTube bullies and I found you and I subscribed because I like your content and whatever like that. And then they may go on their videos or make a comment telling myself, oh, y'all need to leave you, you bullies need to leave, leave people alone and things like that, you know, you got to watch out for folks like that. You got folks like that that come through your channel, that breeze through. Every time some beef come through, 
Uh, you may notice an incre increase in subscribers because all they want to do is see you go off and be. But when you talk about other stuff, it's like you're boring and whatever like that. But it's all good. I'm over here. Just like I said, this is an expression of me. Some people like it. Some people think I'm boring and that's cool. But, you know. You don't have to watch me, but it's funny how some people who have said over the years, well, it'll be like a few people that say I'm boring, they still come by and watch my videos. Now, I'm not talking about this particular person that I wish they had a problem with. I'm just saying, like, other people in the past have said, oh, yeah, your channel just don't interest in me. Okay, it don't interest it. it don't, it, my channel doesn't interest you in my content doesn't interest you that's fine but i find it interesting that the thing people that say that and say that they're better than me i'm chilling i'm like okay but they always seem to tiptoe through my channel and then go on their page and say certain things for baby and what i said but that's neither here or there but I'm just saying, you know, you just got to look out for these in-between the instigating motherfuckers because they look for people that's weak. Mm -hmm. And their goal is to seek and search anything that's negative and beef and fights. They want to see women and grow folks fight amongst each other. You know, they don't want to see peace. When it's peaceful, it's too boring. They move on to the next beef or whatever have you. You got people that come on here and start some shit that may drop a bomb and then pull back like, you know, I didn't do nothing wrong, you know. I didn't do anything wrong. And I'm all about positivity and not about the drama or whatever like that, but they always seem to be in drama. I'm just saying. Always seem to be in drama. But, um... I comment underneath a video of someone I'm subscribed to. She's a pretty much well YouTuber, but she's infamous. I'm just going to say that. And this troll, obviously this troll been watching me for a long time, um, was like um, talking to the person in the video, but talking about me. Oh, don't pay Mrs. M no mind. Mrs. M is like 300 pounds and got no edges and she's just miserable. And I was like, bitch, why are you saying I'm 300 pounds, which I'm not? Uh, why don't you talk about me biking 10 miles while I'm on a, uh, at the gym? I'm biking 10 miles, not to mention I'm walking miles. I'm doing other exercises and I weight train and I box and I jump rope and talk about that. Mm hmm Oh, why you talk about my bald and edges and whatnot? Talk about how my hair is down the middle of my back. And it's funny how it's always the ones that don't show their face. On camera is the one that talked the most shit. And as far as miserable, I'm like, bitch, you're too scared to show your face on camera. I have pictures. You can see me on video. Even though I have some videos that are not on video. But you know what I look like, bitch. I don't know what you look like. You could be a hideous troll. You could look like a fucking toad. You know what I'm saying? You could have a snake face or something. I don't know. I don't know what you look like. You could look like a pig. But you want to talk about me and me being miserable. I'm like, bitch, please. Let's just say that troll was too scared to even fucking think about saying anything else because they must know. They forgot. Let me tell you something about Mrs. M. They must have forgot. I will. Go the fuck off on you. If you come step to me with disrespect. Especially under someone else's video. Trying to show off. In front of that person. 
Especially these big time YouTubers. They be trying to. Oh, they try it. I will let you know. I will remind you who the fuck Mrs. M is. Real quick. I've been chilling for the past couple of years. Oh, but I could be cut motherfucking throat. Mm-hmm. I'll tell the fucking troll in a minute that stuck by the line to go motherfucking play or uh, drink bleach and play in traffic backwards. I would. And one even better eyelash. They must have forgot. But anyway. But yeah, you just gotta watch out with these in between instigator motherfuckers. Some hide through accounts, some actually do videos, some have both. They may have videos, they may have troll accounts. You know, but don't get caught up. It's YouTube ain't you know, you shouldn't really take it that seriously. Um, truth be told, beefs create dollars, it create views, traffic, you get a little bit of coin in it when you beef with someone. I ain't even gonna lie. But at the end of the day it's nothing to, you know, take seriously and whatnot. You know, the vloggers they already understand the game. It's the, you know, boost up the the traffic and the attention or whatever like that a little bit. But then after that, once it died down, it's died down. But these trolls, they like to take things a step further. They want to see people fight and continue to bicker and want you to talk about somebody, mama and family and all the other stuff. It's like, mm-mm, it ain't that motherfucker serious, honey. It really ain't. It ain't that serious to be digging through people's past and, and put them. It's like, oh, YouTube videos, please come on. Find something else to fucking do. Really. It ain't that motherfucking serious. It should be entertainment. This is better than cable. This is the real reality TV shows. You want real reality TV? Come on, motherfucker. YouTube, okay? Now that you go on Facebook, you go on Periscope, you don't need motherfucking cable. Many people are getting rid of cable now. We don't even have cable anymore. You don't need it. We got YouTube. We got social media. We got Hulu, Netflix, you know. <laughs> if I want to see reality TV, I will come on YouTube, okay? That's as real as it could get. Well, anyway, I got to go. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.